Hello everybody, it's June 15th, approximately 7 p.m. And, uh, hold on, stay still, Marley. Heads up. Uh, my hand's in the way. Yep. These come out of nowhere. See that one there. And that one there. Where's the tumor on this side? On this side. It's on the other side. Can you bring the, the camera? You've got one right here. Got one there. Where's the big one? There's another one. It's hard to see. I can feel it right there. But the ones that they're most worried about are these and Marley's not able to keep any food down as you can see how skinny he's gotten but you know from the pictures these are his ribs I'm straight down on him he's very skinny I know Bob I know I know There's another one I didn't remember. That was a huge one. But these are the biggest concern because it could possibly be thyroid, which would be cancer. It'd be different if his thyroids were swollen. Can you shine over here? Mm -hmm. If his thyroids weren't like this, if he didn't have different tumors, and they feel a little smaller than golf balls, and he hasn't, when's the last time you've seen him eat where he actually held it down and didn't throw up? Um, that's hard to say because he had the puppy's food and I think he kept that down. Yeah. See how narrow his, his hips are. So, Marley and I are going to go to the vet tomorrow. And his nose is dry. Feel how dry his nose is? It's like leather. His gums look decent. I don't know. Look at his ribs. You'll never get to see your ribs, fat boy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask some people on YouTube for help, okay? I can afford to pay the first visit, but I don't know about afterwards. Here's another thing behind his ear. Never felt that before. That's one I think came from the woodchuck. A wood tick, you think? There's that tumor right there. I found that one tumor. Here, turn sideways, Bob. <clears throat> Hold on, I found it. Hold on. You can see it right there. Yes, we can have some. 